So I've been going through uh, Steve Jobs' autobiography uh, in audio format uh, because I'm driving to my office uh, quite a few days in the week now, which means I need to do something with that time. So I've been listening to the autobiography of, not the autobiography, the biography of Steve Jobs. Uh, and it's just been amazing. It's one of the amazing, most amazing biographies that I've uh, listened to or, or, or read. Inside uh, this amazing book, uh, it reveals some pretty amazing things about Steve Jobs and how he went from, you know, basically a, a dropout, uh, actually from birth, <laughs> right throughout, um, you know, his last days on earth. Uh, I'm almost through, through the book, but I'm about three, three quarters through, and it's just uh, very amazing and very inspiring. A couple of things that really hit me um, inside the book as I was listening to it. And, and these things weren't uh, said explicitly. These are just sort of conclusions that I came to. The first one is that when you look at Steve's, Steve Jobs' life, basically it screams out that it's okay to be awesome. <laughs> so number one for me is that it's okay to be awesome. Okay, so what do I mean by that? When you look at everything that Steve Jobs has done uh, in, in terms of uh, his business endeavors, uh, it's been awesome, especially when you look at his latest products like the, the iPhone, the, uh, the iPad, uh, you know, iTunes, the whole, the whole thing that he did with um, uh, the MacBook Pro and the, uh, you know, the MacBook Air. It's just amazing. It is awesome. It, awesome is truly the word to describe it. And Steve had no excuses for being awesome. And in fact, he had this thing called his reality distortion field where he would distort people's reality to make them to get to see this awesomeness. And he wouldn't budge for anything less than awesome. And so the message that I got from that is that it's okay to be awesome. You know, sometimes I know that a lot of us, including myself, perhaps myself especially, I get these ideas of awesomeness about an awesome product or an awesome new project or an awesome new business. And then I go and listen to everyone else. And I get turned off by what everyone else says. There's criticism, there's uh, you know, strange ideas that would say that it wouldn't work, all this sort of mumbo jumbo. And the bottom line is then I don't actually go ahead and do this awesome thing. And that's wrong. In my view, <laughs> in my view, that's wrong. You know, we're, we're here to create awesomeness. So that's the first thing. It's okay to be awesome. The second thing that I learned from this biography of Steve Jobs is that it's okay to be unreasonable about getting to that awesomeness. You might have heard, you know, some quotes floating around along the lines of that, uh, you know, it's only the unreasonable people who cause any kind of progress in the world because they're unreasonable. They don't let anyone else put them down and they're unreasonable about their goals and, and projections and expectations. And because of that, they can change reality. You know, Steve talks about uh, the best way to predict the future is to create it. This is what it's about uh, to me as well. So uh, first of all, it's okay to be awesome. And second, it's okay to be unreasonable about getting to that awesomeness. So you've got to be unreasonable about getting to that awesomeness. And that means that you will have to upset some people in the process. And that's hard because some of those people will be very close to you. But when you think about the payoff, when you get to this awesomeness, it's not about yourself anymore. It's about something way bigger than just yourself. Look at the incredible change in the world that we've had because of the products we have from Apple. I mean, I'm, I'm a bit of a, an evangelist for Apple because I've been so influenced and so uh, it's benefited my life so much. So think about your own life and in your own business. How can you be awesome? And how can you be steadfast and unreasonable in getting to that awesomeness? I think to me, those are the two biggest messages from that book as an entrepreneur. And I wanted to share that with you inside this video. Tell me what you think. Uh, leave your comments below. Uh, even though I might not follow your advice or your suggestions, I always love 
reading your feedback and uh, quite often I also do respond as well, especially soon after the video gets published. Uh, also remember to subscribe, boom, over here, and uh, I look forward to seeing you inside my next video. Chat soon.